All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. I'm the brother Zakaria. I'm the brother I know. We're coming at you from the JMS Campbell and the church. Now, before we get started with this in transit, we want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations towards you, helpful elects when pushing the truth. Now, again, um, we're doing a quit in transit. You know, the spirit hit us to go, go into a lesson about um, keeping your head up, man. You know, staying focused on the main mission. And um, don't let nothing in this world separate you from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? But um, if you didn't have anything to say, brother, we can get right into it. All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Yeah, behold, I come quickly. And it's clear as day that we know that Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son of the whole world, and we call God or Jesus Christ, He's coming quickly quickly because the days are getting shorter as well. All right, for the elect's sake. There was an actual article that came out proving that the days are getting um, shorter and shorter. All right, so he's coming quickly. All right, and it says, hold fast. Hold fast to what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shemir al which is these words. Okay, because the scriptures is what's going to have us be focused. The scriptures is what's going to allow us to endure all this, man. To, 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 to be uh, sound minded And to um to be cherishable To be aware of our around us Etc Whatever comes with it Okay You wanted to um, say anything? Yeah The script is going to let No man take that crown mm -hmm. Don't even let yourself Alright Because you can be your own Worst enemy In this truth So don't even let your Emotions and feelings And uh, what, How you was brought up Like the bishop tells us man for, Forget about your past, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and don't worry about the opinions of these people, man. These people don't care about you, anyways. That's right. You know, so don't let no man take your crown. Technically, we have this crown because we already have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, we already have it right now, but we don't want no man to uh, take us out the truth, or we don't want to take ourselves out the truth. You know, mm -hmm. because it's dear to us, man. All right, this is salvation we're talking about. All right. To be a part of the first fruits under Yahweh by Shemiah Washah, to see the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, to receive those new bodies and actually um, be witnesses of being changed in the twinkling of an eye. That's a that's a very great thing to do, man. Or to be a part of, excuse me. Okay? You got it, brother. Alright, so uh the next scripture I want to get into is uh Colossians 3 and 17. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever you do in word or deed. Do all in the name of the, of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. And one of the things that'll help you is being a, a grateful, all right? Mm -hmm. Being appreciative. Because the Lord ain't going to, uh, the Lord is not going to be supping with you if you're just bitter and angry and regretful all the time, mm -hmm. right? Then you're going to have your slip ups in the truth. Hey, sometimes you might be on the hot seat, all right? But you got to keep it pushing, you got to keep it moving. Yep. You got to keep your objective, which is to hold fast, like it mentions in Revelation, the third chapter. So being grateful for this opportunity, because when you go to work or you go handle your business, man, you, you look at the congregation of the dead. You look, you see our people, they're getting worse and worse. We're coming up on these uh, satanic high holy days. We're going mm -hmm. into another year. All right. And these people are getting worse and worse by the year. So we should be thankful to the Lord. And that helps us with the appreciation and it helps us to endure. And I was just, this is an in transit. I was just looking um, at the uh, Great Millstone Atlanta videos from when I came into the camp. And like five years ago, I, I was really appreciative because like, man, I, I came into to, to this thing like five and a half years ago, Lord will and I endure. But you can see the progression as far as every man goes. I see, I seen this brother Zakaria. I seen our camp heads. I seen all the brothers that just came in and I see growth. Right, mm -hmm. so we gotta appreciate that and give thanks to the uh, Most High Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. God, God, that was perfectly explained, man. That's beautiful, man. All right, to be able to be a part of something that that allows you to grow as a man, woman, child. All right, increase your faith, etc., man. Because we understand where we came from. We understand what we messed up at. All right, and that was that was a bit, you know, a part of Yahweh Shai sacrificing himself. And bringing us back all right so through him we understand these things okay um and you can also get that in um i think ephesians or galatians will talk about being a new creature too 
Cause that's what it's all be. That's that's what it's all about, man. All right, continuing on being that new creature, man. And you how about streaming out with Sha? All right, letting go of the former things, modifying our members, etc., man. Mm -hmm. All right, you got it. Right. This is uh, Second Corinthians five and seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yeah. So when we was out there in the world. We we did have fist fights. We did. Um, we was bitter. We was angry. We wasn't sober minded. We were staggering. All right. You know, different brothers have um, different backgrounds, man. Okay. So since we know we're a new creature, we understand. Hey, we know how to control our temper. Yeah. All right. We understand a little bit more on the spirit of having patience. We under, and that's all through wisdom. And we understand. We discern. Like that's going back, going back to um, I was watching old, old, old I don't want to say old, but videos from the past. You know, it was a brother that mentioned we can discern these different spirits. We can discern demons out here on the roads. We can discern the black woman and the demons that she comes with, and we can make peace with these people. So you can turn. You don't want to use black woman tactics in this truth. That's right. You want to use the spirit of the Lord to get you through these situations to where you'll have the black woman vouching for you because you're in the spirit. Yep, girdle the loins of thy mind. All right, that's all about being a man. All right, you know, humbly saying, when I was in the world, I wasn't, I wasn't in that man state of mind. Mm -hmm. But within the truth, becoming that new creature, we're all able to be better as men. Yeah, the scriptures say, when I, uh, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yep, yep. All right, some of us was in our twenties and thirties, and we were still babies out here, man. All right, but through this word, we become men. All right, we're still growing. You can't, I don't like that term, I'm a grown ass man. You're still growing as a man. Yeah. Right? It's still growth. It's still progression. You don't want to plateau in this thing. You, know? you want to grow and elevate and staying in the spirit. And and and, and one thing about, about this word too, it's in you. It's not on you. All right. Mm -hmm. And when you get into these situations with these people, man, like, like Proverbs 15 and 1, grievous words stir up anger. Yep. You don't want to use certain type of words around certain types of people in the world. That's how people end up getting judged. So the spirit of habit to where this word is already in you, you just got to keep on reading. Like it says in 1 Timothy, uh, give attendance to reading. We have to keep reading. This is a continual thing, mm -hmm. all right? We have to keep going, all right, so that no man takes our crown. We have to continue to read, fellowship, study, even, uh, use wisdom, all right? Because like the Bishop of Tazewan did a lesson on a few words concerning his ministry. When you first come in, you know, you like, John ja, ja Morant, you just dunking all over the place. You just overzealous and whatnot. But you started to slow it down as you get more mature in the faith. You start to use wisdom. You know, you might not necessarily remember all the precepts that you had when you first came in, but yep. you actually are starting to apply it now. That's right. It, it starts to become, hey, it's within you. You start to be whole. Mm -hmm. Okay. How you how you speak, how you walk, again your actions, because. The word is actually being implemented within your spirit. So you can naturally carry yourself in that manner. Right. All right. In the manner of Yahweh by Shemiah Right. Okay. You got it, Akim. Uh, Ephesians chapter, uh, I think this is the one you wanted. Ephesians chapter 4, uh, verse 22. Yep. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Yep. Because that old man was that same individual that, that had us bugging out, had us tripping. Right. Okay. That old man is that same individual. That, that displeased the Lord mm -hmm. Alright So becoming that new creature We want to please the Lord To the best of our ability Alright Through reading Through studying Through, through examining ourselves Through repentance Alright And asking the Lord daily To increase us man On our faults And on our weaknesses man Right Because we want to be strong for the Lord Just like he's strong for us Right It's clear as day This, this is the almighty power man mm -hmm. Okay The infinite The, the, the power man all right, I'm gonna just say it like that. The Father, the Creator. Yeah. How will Yeah. This this is life or death, man. This this isn't the Mickey Mouse Club where we just kicking it and and, and drinking beer, yeah, dancing and eating goofing hot off. wings. <laughs> even when we are, even when we watch boxing or we watch these different sporting events, the spirit is there. Yep. All right, and a brother might say something that might be a rebuke or exhortation. We're here to build each other up. So when we fellowship, we're not just kicking shit. All right, and just goofing off. There's always a, a message that you can get. From fellowshipping and, and being in the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. That goes about um, 
what the spirit don't uh, wrestle against the the flesh. Just mm-hmm. roughly paraphrasing it, because it's all spiritual. Right. Okay. You got it, Aki. Uh, Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-two. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Because in this world, you'll see people that you used to know. You'll 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 a. Hey, it's guaranteed you're gonna run into some people. All right, for you brothers that's just coming in, you're gonna run into some people that you used to know. They was doing the same ninja. Uh, they're doing the same ninja activity that you were doing, but you, Yahweh Shai, through the through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh picked you out of all these billions of jakes out here to do His will. So mm-hmm. we should be appreciative for that. Yeah, that goes into a, a being a, all these jakes out here. We sitting in traffic. You see all these jakes out here. He gave you the truth. So you're gonna run into these jakes from the world. And they they're gonna see is something different about you. Oh, he got a beard now. When he was in the world, well, they don't they don't know. They know they know it's a glow about you. Mm-hmm. you. You might not have had a beard. All right, you don't you don't smoke weed. You don't eat abominable foods. You don't commit adultery like ninety nine percent of these uh, jakes in the world do. Ninety nine point nine percent. All right, so you put off those deceitful lusts. Mm-hmm. All right, because it, it mentions in James that all, lust. Uh, well, lust turns into sin And sin turns into death Yep. So continuing on it says uh, Ephesians 4 and 23 And be renewed in the spirit of your mind So it's, it's a constant renewing It's not just one time I get it It's mm-hmm. a constant renewing Because what? A, right, a righteous man follows seven times That was off Yeah. But um, a righteous man follows seven times man. So we gotta constantly um, Be renewed through the spirit of power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah mm-hmm. Alright? You, you, you probably was in this thing for quite some time, but slipped up, mm-hmm. all right? You know, speaking as a babe, I still have some hiccups here and there, man. Mm-hmm. But I pray to you, humbly saying, but, I, you know, I, I pray to be better, yes. which we all should, you know, start praying, asking the Lord, and it shall be given unto thee, man, all right? Because yeah. the scriptures talk about us being refined as gold, yeah, and gold in the furnace, man. Now, when you take gold and refine it, you're going to have dross, Overall, we don't want to be the dross like mm-hmm. two thirds of our people. But there's certain characteristics and flaws that we have. That's why we have the brotherhood to be like, hey, you need to stop being aloof and come around the brothers. All right, you need to do more videos. You need to be around a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You need you need to pay attention to what's going on to your surroundings. Okay, that's that's why we have the brothers to let us know because we don't want to be the dross like these people out here. These people uh, got funny colored hair, tattoos everywhere. The tightest pants. The tightest pants is Halloween season. And the freaks come out at night. So we don't want to be caught up because going into 2023, it's going to be more judgment than this year leading up and up into prophecy, man. So we have to continually renew our minds. That's why we have days like the Day of Atonement. We have yep. these high holy days mm-hmm. that refreshes our uh, uh, spirits, so to speak. Yeah, kind. Uh, verse 24 and that you put on the new man which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness because that's what we hey the scripture says what seek the lord all right and we're also seeking righteousness because our whole lives we've been doing wrong mm-hmm. all right transgressing the law breaking the law committing sin okay again you know brothers came from different backgrounds but now we're seeking you how about shimmy i was shot man we're seeking him through that new clothing, that new men that we put on. What the scripture says, what? Put on put on as the elect. Mm-hmm. That's a part of that new creature as well, man. All right? Because remember, that old man ain't going to be praying to you. How about streaming outside? That old man's going to be a, a, a straight ninja. Yeah. I'm going to say it like that, okay? That old man, he's going to be searching for blunts and a woman to pop on the Sabbath and all types of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Which is not of the spirit of your how about Shemir al Okay yeah. You gotta argue Alright so I'm gonna jump down To Ephesians the 5th chapter It says to walk in love It, it says uh, and That don't mean Love the oppressor and mm-hmm. That don't, it sure as hell Don't mean Love two thirds Alright For you uh, Israelites That wanna love everybody uh, Ephesians 5 and 1 Be ye therefore Fathers of the Most High As dear children And walk in love As Hamashiach Also have loved us And have given himself For us an offering and a sacrifice to the Most High for a sweet smelling savor. So when we go out there mm-hmm. to the highways and byways, we're that sweet smelling savior. We're, we're the Lord is pleased with our sacrifice. We just have to continue to keep it up, mm-hmm. all right? And you can see it because this this sorry when our apostles and elders, 
they had they've had that sweet smelling savior and it's the sweet smelling savior has spread onto other cities and around the world as far as this gospel you got brothers in peru ecuador so on and so forth all right so we don't we want to be that you know how brothers like that frankincense that camp mm -hmm. that's that that's a spiritual sense that's going up to the heavenly father and he's well pleased even mm -hmm. when we pray all right that's a sweet smelling savior two-thirds of our people man first of all that they're not even that the lord ain't even hearing and then these israelite camps they saying we don't know the name it don't matter He's smelling a whole different type of odor with with that. All yeah, right? that, that sacrifice displeases him. Yeah, you know, and and hey, whether it be good or evil, everything has a reward for it, whether it be through salvation or that sting of death. Mm -hmm. Okay, you gotta argue. Uh, verse three, but fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become of saints. Because it's not of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's. Like which we all fell up on, all right, serving these other gods, but we we um repented from that mm -hmm. because we are sure and we are aware that our power and true name is Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Okay. If you unsure, if you out there saying you know you can call them whatever you want to call them and stuff like that, that's clearly stating that you're unsure on what you're in. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are un you are, you're staggering. Mm -hmm. All right. You need to believe and have faith and be sure, be aware of it. Right. With confidence, man. Of course, humility and humbleness, but know who you calling out, man. Know who you praying to. Right. All right. You got it, Aki. Verse four. This is Ephesians five and four. <clears throat> Neither filthiness nor foolish talking. And when you you say you don't know the name of the Lord and you can call him whatever you want, that's foolish talking. All right. It says, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. So goes that word thanks again. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, I'm gonna jump down to uh, yeah, verse. Uh, Eight. And, and if I can say right quick, because you have um, two thirds of the nation of Israel, okay, who's always murmured, who always complain. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to do that. Uh. All right, cool. All right, just like this um, brother right here, the brother Nah, he brought out at camp, I believe, um, the fact that you know the Israelites wanted a king, mm -hmm. but and the Lord gave it to him. Mm -hmm. And what did he do? He went off. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you no, know, I want the king like the other heathen. It's, you know, just using it as an example Where Jake don't even understand That we have a beautiful thing right here, man yeah. This is our power, man We don't, hey, all we need is him mm -hmm. But do you believe that? Do you believe that, hey He is all you have, okay Especially in, while you um In your distress at a low point Are you going to call on the name of Yahweh Bashmi al and believe that He's going to be there for you And that he is the helping hand Or are you going to run to Esau technology or whatever else going on within your life, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to be sure of it. Okay, you got um, any other precepts? Ephesians five and eight. For you were sometimes, for you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord? Yeah, because we obtained that new creature. We put on that new creature, man. All right. Once upon a time ago, we all was walking around in that gross darkness, man. All right. And from that, from that outside looking in, now humbly saying, we all see. The dark, the gross darkness upon these people, man. Oh, yeah. That's why you have scriptures like, if it be possible, be peaceable with all men. Mm -hmm. All right? Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. Okay? Let the unjust be unjust. Yeah. All right? Three different scriptures that, that will actually help us to avoid this madness out here, man. Yeah. Because it is madness. It's yeah. the land of confusion. It's Babal. Yeah, we're fighting against uh, spiritual wickedness. In high places, in high places. Yep. So you have to be the light, man. Even if you stand out, who who give who gives a f if you stand out? You're doing the right thing, all right. These people, they're on a collision course with death, man. Mm -hmm. So we have to be that light, that beacon, that shining during during a storm, man. Like a lighthouse, all right. I'm sure people that live on the coast, the east coast, are, are used to lighthouses, man. The Lord mm -hmm. has put us in the spirit of being um, leaders in this Amen. thing. The Lord has put us in the spirit of uh, being being leaders in His truth and speaking up for righteousness. Like the scriptures say, who will stand up for me against the evildoers, man? Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, people are going to start figuring out that we had the truth. All right? Not Kanye West. All right? Not these other celebrities that... Because, hey, that's a great example. You can say it, all this stuff about the Hebrew Israelites were the real Jews, but Kanye West is not trying to be a new creature in your house shot he doesn't even know the name he's not trying to be the light he's still bugged out he's still on drugs and dope he's still under psyop so you can't get caught up in what these guys say man 
you gotta mm -hmm. get caught up on what your how about Shimmy Al Shah says and what type of man that he wants because that you should be focused on what the what the what the Lord wants and not your own agenda or what the world wants. Mm -hmm. Just maintain your, your office through the Spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Wherever your lot is, keep it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's of the Lord, man. Okay. Um, you had any more um, closing precepts? That's about it. All right, Kyle, we'll just um, close off on that. You know, Lord willing, you know, this intrinsic was edifying, man. All right? Just a quick little exhortation, you know, not only for the viewers, but for ourselves first and foremost. All right? To, to, to keep our heads up and to stay focused as a man that believes in your how about Shimei Awasha. Sincerely saying, man. Oh, excuse me, humbly saying. Okay? But um, with that, we want to give our honor and glory on two. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Shachodash. That was honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. And peace, love, and salutations towards your hopeful let that's been pushed in truth. With that, Shalom. Shalom.